Hey everybody, it's Steven Get Money Myrick here, and I have a heck of a video for you all today because I'm going to be talking about assist within Street Fighter Duel. You know, assist are something that, unless you take the time to really dive into it, you might not be super aware about what each character is bringing to the table. So I did the dirty work. I tried to farm it out to somebody else and said, can you do the hard work? But uh, nobody else was willing to step up. So I went through, I read every character's assist, and I tried to categorize what they're bringing to the table. A few point of clarifications for this list. Uh, I call it a tier list, but in reality, it's really just kind of break down what each character is bringing with their assist. They're all pretty specific in what they do, and they all fit into different team comps. So it's very hard to say this is better than this. It's really what are you trying to accomplish by providing this assist to your character. I will be talking about some of the more unique characters uh, that I'll be calling out, something that maybe you don't realize how strong they are or exactly how they work and be talking a little bit about just how assists work in the game. So if you're interested in this content, interested in me talking about this, you know, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Please like, please leave a comment, and let's go ahead and dive into this. So I wanted to start by just talking about the list I made and what I did. So I actually went through and I kind of grouped characters by what they're bringing to the table. So I've got survivability, attack damage, attack buff, utility, enemy debuff, and team specific. And I have a little sub note for every character to try and really clue you in on what they're doing. So this is supposed to be your one-stop shop. Give you at least a quick view of like what an assist is bringing to the table. So with survivability, it's something like a heal, something with a shield, something with increasing their defense. Uh, with attack damage, this is where like they're really not doing anything other than providing attack. Uh, as opposed to some things like an attack buff, obviously, like it's increasing the character's attack. You have a few characters like Makoto that give attack and defense. Uh, enemy debuff, you know, we, we have Gore uh, Magala Ken here with damage reduction. He also does damage himself. Same thing with Jury, she does a lot of damage, but she also is providing some attack still, so I'm throwing her in there. And then I do have, you know, this interesting category at the bottom, team specific, uh, when you're looking at Fashion Blanca, Fei Long, and Poison. These are characters that actually, if you're not doing something specifically like trying to do flame damage or shock damage, they're actually not good at all. Uh, so you definitely want to stay away from them unless you're specifically trying to build a team around those facts. I think the utility class is maybe one of the most interesting here. So you've got Yun and Yang bringing super. And in other games I've played, there's something like feeding energy, like feeding super energy. And so it will be kind of interesting to see as we get heroes released and characters released, are there some that really, really, really depend on their super? And is there something that maybe when they do a super, it builds super, and then you have Yun and Yang to build super, and you can build some kind of crazy thing where the character is supering all the time. Uh, speed being increased with B Sangeef and Gen, his clone can actually disrupt combos. So they're all bringing like pretty unique things to the table as the assist. And you definitely want to look at like how do you trigger these buffs or these debuffs for your assist. Some of them are like on triggered ability, some are on attack, some are when they take damage. So I'm not getting to the nitty gritty of that specifically in this video, but just be aware that like Cami, for example, triggers when it's a triggered skill. So she does very well with Mad Ryu with his triggered ability of throwing out his uh, fireball Hadouken thing. And also really well with Gormagala Kim because he has a ton of triggered abilities. So if you're not aware, every hero has an ability when they are in the assist position. So if you get to the point where you unlock the fighting spirit for a hero and then you level it up to level five here, you can see the assist skill that every uh, hero picks. And of course, I start with Gen, who's one of the longest skill descriptions in the game. Let's go ahead and do somebody more basic. So you can go in the gallery, you can click on fighting spirit here, and you can see takes effect when the fire is in assist position. The assist fire receives 20% of Zangief's defense upon entering the battle and takes 10% less flame, thunder, and soul damage. So that's a very, you know, basic assist skill. So, you know, if you were interested in looking at it, you would go to the fighter skill. Uh, and you could see level up here and you have to use these original token, which is a very original name for what this resource is. Uh, but you do have to get this up to five in order to get that bonus. Before that, whenever you just do an assist fight, you're really just giving 20% of attack and 20% of HP. So you can see here with poison, for example, you can see the attack values are different uh, for what each one is providing based on the gear they have. So that's an important thing to keep in mind as well as you definitely want to be putting gear on your assist heroes uh, because that will give more attack and more health to the heroes they are assisting. A few of the more interesting ones I want to call it as well. Uh, Bison is funny because he's already broken right in the main line so you're almost never using him as assist but if for some reason he gets outscaled eventually uh, you can still use his assist skill because you can see it actually uh, 
revive somebody back to 30% of their HP and they don't receive a uh, healing once they get revived, but they have 15% increased damage. So you're going to be able to take your carry hero, you know, two years from now when Bison's no longer relevant and revive them with 15% increased damage, which is just insane, insane assist ability. Uh, I also think that maybe Fashion Sakura's uh, ability is maybe the best in the game so if i was making tier list i definitely have it near the top you can see when assist fire takes a single instant of damage that would cost more than eight percent of their max hp so like any big attack which it makes it even better right because it's not going to do it if it's just a little doinky attack like it has to at least be a big attack they immunize that damage and restore hp equal to 50 and restore hp equal to 50 percent of the assist fire's attack uh, so not only do they not take the damage, but they also restore their HP. So she is very, very good. I've been using her to assist on Mad Ryu sometimes because he, you know, gets a lot of damage and healing back up is super helpful. Mayor Cody's is maybe the most interesting. It has to do with, uh, dueling. So you, during the duel, the assist fire deals 15% increased damage against the dueling target. So if you were maybe trying to target like their highest attack unit and take them out, uh, it's just one of the more kind of interesting assists that I read. And like I said, when you look at stuff like Fei Long, uh, to, you know, as long as the assist fire survives, all, all enemies take 12 more flame and burn damage. So unless you have heroes that are doing flame and burn damage, uh, he's pretty useless, right? And like I mentioned, I was using poison. And you can see here, uh, when assist fire deals damage to enemies with shock, they fire a crescent wave that hits and has a chance to silent. The issue is like you have to be shocking people first in order to even trigger this. So it's definitely something you want to keep your eye on. Like how do I actually trigger these abilities? Uh, but they are pretty cool. Like I said, the Yoon here, uh, super combo gauge by 80, trigger every 12 seconds, and also super combo gauge by 80, trigger every 12 seconds. So you can get, you know, like this combo building potential, like chain them together. It's just kind of a very cool concept. So this is my first stab at this assist tier list. Hopefully it helps you out in some way. I'm trying to make it like useful and helpful, at least point you in the right direction. Obviously calling a tier list is a little bit clickbaity, but the reality is like I'm trying to put a bunch of information here for you very quickly and conveniently so that you can get an idea of like what each kind of character is bringing and help you make decisions. Maybe if you're uh, carry hero is dying too quickly you need a survivability assist maybe if you're in a pve mode where you're just trying to max damage you know, maybe you put in like a chun li to increase your crit guys by the way i was kind of blown away by how nice guys a uh, little attack buff is i didn't realize how powerful that was because he's giving more crit and more pressure uh, mad ryu is obviously being used as a carry hero for a lot of early game players but when you're carry like the assist fire gets lower HP, uh, they get 20% mad reuse attacks. So it's just a big, big attack boost. So lots of uh, interesting going on. I would say Cami, if you're trying to do PVE damage, doing that armor break against like a big raid boss, that's also huge as well. So just wanted to try and summarize this all together. It's definitely something I had been wondering about and I thought you all might find helpful as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, please make sure you subscribe to my channel uh leave comments below you know if i get a lot of feedback maybe we'll update this as more characters come out maybe i've gotten everything wrong and you want it laid out a different way and i'll make a different video in the future but definitely stay subscribed and i'll see you on my next video bye